Many of my patients say that often what makes them feel so sad is that people don't understand the illness. And they wonder sometimes if even their own families think they are making it up. Look, I totally empathise with your situation. I went through it myself and I know it can be hard. The truth is that CFS is a complicated condition and I don't think you can understand it unless you've experienced it yourself. Therefore, what I suggest is, is that you stop trying to get people to understand it, apart from maybe people very close to you. A lot of energy can be wasted trying to persuade people about how real the condition is. If people ask how you are, just respond truthfully, but in a positive manner. As an example, you may say, I'm just working on how to get better. Just focus on yourself now and what you can do to get better. Obviously, it's good to have the support of your family and friends, but moment to moment discussion of how you're feeling or the contents of this program or discussing how much better you are getting probably isn't useful. If people make comments that are hurtful, I encourage you to forgive them for that, because if you were in their position, you probably wouldn't understand what it was all about either. Sometimes I have observed that people spend a lot of time trying to justify the existence of the condition. Now this is a good thing, and CFS is becoming more recognised as a condition. But at the same time, this should not detract from your belief that you really can get better. As we go through this programme, you will understand more about CFS and related disorders. And you will realise that CFS fits into a whole new category of conditions, which is currently not well defined by traditional medicine. Some doctors are beginning to understand and appreciate CFS. Others still believe it is depression. Once again, try not to waste energy persuading a doctor about your case if they aren't sympathetic. There's probably not a lot your doctor can do in any case. I would, however, still strongly suggest that you keep in contact with your doctor just so that he or she can monitor your situation. In terms of whether to take antidepressants or not, that is a choice that only you can make with your doctor. I have had a few patients who have benefited and have had some patients who have not. In any case, I have not met anyone yet who has even remotely come close to being cured by antidepressants. So some practitioners suggest only taking them if you perceive that you are moderately to severely depressed. If a medical practitioner treating you is not being sympathetic, once again, I encourage you to forgive them for that. And if you have to, change your doctor. You can waste a lot of energy being angry at them and feeling that like, no one understands. Medical professionals are fantastic at treating many illnesses, but conditions like CFS are different to the types of conditions they are trained to deal with. Just have the viewpoint that there are many people out there who do understand how CFS can affect someone's life, and that they are sympathetic to what you're going through. You definitely are not alone with this. There is so much information out there on the internet about CFS, miracle cures, theories, patient experiences, etc. I would strongly advise that you do no further research whilst you are going through this recovery programme. If you keep researching, all it does is distract you from giving this work your 100%. Just try and stick 100% to what is in this programme and then judge for yourself after six months. This recovery program is not any of the following. It is not cognitive behavioural therapy or CBT. It is not the reverse therapy. It is not Mikkel therapy. It is not the lightning process or any other therapy. Once again, there may well be crossovers with these approaches, but I suggest not looking into anything else whilst you engage 100% in this program. Also remember that on the internet and in patient groups, Statistically, you are far more likely to meet people who are severely affected in the long term and who haven't had treatments work for them.
And therefore, this can present an overly gloomy picture about CFS. Look, people really do get better from CFS. And those patients who do get better often fall off the radar. And they often don't report back on how they get better because they aren't even sure themselves. They are just glad to be out of it. In terms of the latest research into CFS, there will always be certain physical abnormalities that will be found in people with CFS. But that doesn't prove that these abnormalities are the cause. They are probably, once again, just consequences or symptoms. If someone ever suddenly discovers a miracle pill for CFS, which, by the way, I don't think will ever happen, then you will find out about it. For the moment, focus on this programme and giving it 100% commitment. What's my success rate? Well, in an exciting observational study on 33 patients that I'm currently conducting on my techniques, over 85% of people significantly improved as a result of the programme, with 60% of people in the study already going on to make a full recovery by the time we produce this DVD. Now, I describe a full recovery as being at around 85 to 100% better. This is because I find that the final 10 to 15% of getting better is often down to getting used to being well. You know, rehabilitation of the muscles, getting back into normal life. I believe that the rest of the people on the study will go on to make full recoveries. And based on my experience, I believe that the final full recovery success rate will be around 70 to 80% after one year. For those who didn't show improvement, there were often other complicating factors which impeded progress. A few people dropped out of this programme, which is normal for this kind of study. Please note, of course, that this was not a double-blind placebo trial, and I am currently looking for medical organisations to work with who would be able to conduct such a trial. Because you have bought this programme, you will be updated regularly by email as to the latest research on my techniques and hopefully a full medical trial in the near future. What matters is what the success rate is for you personally, of course. And that will either be 0% or 100%. If this recovery program makes no difference to you whatsoever, then the success rate is 0. And if it helps you get better, then it is 100%. I truly believe, once again, that this will help you get better and help you onwards to full recovery over time. This is guaranteed. That's how confident I am that this will help you. All I ask of you now is that you place your trust in me for the next six months, trust the therapies that we will go through, and then judge the results for yourself. Now, my patients who really believe in what I'm saying tend to make the best recoveries. And you may ask why this is. It is because the body's ability to heal is very much based on the state of mind during healing. People who are in positive states of mind and also who have a strong belief that they really will get better, they are clinically proven to do much better and heal quicker. So it makes logical sense for you to do that right now, to forget everything you ever believed about CFS and to start with a blank sheet of paper. Now I know this will take a lot of bravery to challenge those old beliefs you used to have about CFS. Forget even believing you will get better. Over time and gradually, Instead, go into that place of absolute trust that by following this program, you will get better. And if you don't get that feeling right now yet, then just trust that it will come over time and that you can encourage yourself to feel it gradually. The logical thing to do is to make yourself feel like that because you know that it will increase your chances of getting better. And of course, that feeling will be much easier once we have gone through the explanation of CFS and once you start feeling the powerful benefits in your body.